I'm Nathan Barnes, and uh, this is my MFA thesis exhibition. It's titled Old Voices, New Ears. Uh, it's been almost four years in the making. Um, I've also been working as the curator of exhibitions at the Idaho Falls Arts Council. Along with um, all of the, the great professors that I've encountered here and fellow grad students at Idaho State, I've also had the opportunity to uh, curate, you know, over the last four years, uh, 30 or 40 exhibitions at the Arts Council. And, uh, you know, the work that I've seen there, in addition to um, the scholarship that uh, I've been engaged in here, has really helped inform the direction of my work, uh, kind of culminating in what you see here in my graduate exhibition. In this exhibit, you know, I have, I have some work that you might call fairly traditional in that it's um, on a flat two-dimensional surface and I use paint. Um, and then I have an entire series like this behind me called Strangely Familial. It's portraits, but it's something that, you know, I might call mixed media relief painting. It's about people in, in my immediate family, my mom, my dad, my wife, myself, my children. And they all, they all made it into a portrait. Portraits that are about um, revealing the inside externally. I get to uh, really engage at a psychoanalytical level. I did a lot of research into the uncanny, you know, the sublime, which has just an incredible history, you know, back to 2,000 years ago, this, this development of what is the sublime. And so, you know, I have these encounters in, in, in my life that feel exceptional, you know, like sublime moments, terrifying, but amazing or uncanny moments. I should tell you about the work that, that uh, I eventually settled on calling it um, Emergent World. It's the biggest piece in the exhibition. It's six by eight feet and it's one of the earliest. With that painting it kept changing. Things kept changing. It kept, it evolved. It, uh, it had its own voice. As I painted it, it changed. I had to let it change or I would have gotten um, so bored with it that I never could have pulled it off. It just started resonating with me like why is that there? I know why I did that and in a lot of cases I know what my movements are. They're very analyzed, sometimes overanalyzed. In other cases I'm not quite sure why that element feels like it fits. Does life hold some sort of prescient quality? Are we being led? What are the forces that are leading us? Is this imagined or is it real? I really do feel like, you know, I'm often led. And not just in my work, but in life, life experience, I feel like I'm being led. Um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a question that I kind of throw back to the viewer, and I don't want to answer it for them.